And we're also going to compare cosmetic products. And an expert is going to tell us why the stuff from the drugstore can be just as effective as the expensive stuff. Well, Dr. Manjula Jagasathi is a cosmetic dermatologist at the Miami Skin Institute, where she works with wrinkles and new laser techniques for smoothing the face. But she's not here to talk about surgery today. Her message today is that you don't have to spend a lot for the cosmetics you use. You've got a lot of stuff on the table. So we don't have to go broke. I see products $100, $200 in the department stores. I don't have to spend that? Absolutely. We're bombarded every day with things that cost so much money, the fountain of youth in a bottle. And that's not really what you have to do. There are only certain scientifically proven ingredients that work to build collagen and to increase elasticity in the skin. And those are what you should focus on. And for the most part, they've been there for for a lot of years and they really they're really not very expensive and I've brought some of these these examples of these ingredients and these products that incorporate them and you can see that you can really look good for not a lot of money okay well let, let well show me some of how I'm gonna save money okay. from now on and look good uh, this is one of the easiest ones this is a very expensive chemical peel that you can buy online um, and its active ingredient is a mushroom extract um, and this too retails for something like sixty seventy dollars online and it's funny because Neutrogena's advanced solutions peel is the exact same product the exact same serious? mushroom extract and that's for under ten dollars it's an at-home peel you can do every day just the same as best you wash your face under ten dollars uh -huh. for the same thing that you'd spend same a active lot more. ingredients wow mm -hmm. okay all right a lot of folks have scars and things like that. Do you have anything that helps that? It, well, th that's an interesting thing. There are probably over a thousand products that are marketed that are over a hundred dollars for stretch marks and scars. And this is among them, but the, you know, you all have seen a whole bunch more than yes. that. And there's only data for Retin-A, which is available with the prescription, and most insurance plans cover it. That's the only ingredient that actually has been proven to help stretch marks. And that's usually when it's applied before the stretch mark actually occurs. If you anticipate losing weight or gaining weight or whatever, it, that's the only time that it's actually even effective. But how much does Retin-A cost? Retin-A costs about $90 if you buy it without insurance. Ouch. But it, a tube like that should last you about six months. So it's $90 for six months on a given area area for stretch marks. Any cheaper route I can go? Uh, there's really nothing else that has okay. the data, but most people's insurance plans covers Retin-A okay. with the $15 copay. So, oh, all right. That's not bad then. Yeah. But then you have Medderma for scars, right? Yes. And uh, that's another thing. The only thing that's been proven to help scars, post-surgical scars or scars that you get just from a traumatic, a little cut or something like that, the only thing that's been shown in, da in studies to help is silicone gel. Okay. And there's a lot of expensive silicone gels out there and none of them are as good as Mederma which is huh. one of the most That's ubiquitous right here. exactly drugstore brands that you can buy this is available at Costco it's available at CVS that's under $20 that for a tube that size and I've had that tube frankly for over a year for are my you little serious? scars and cuts and Amazing. yeah it goes a long way a little what bit goes a long for way acne? because there's so many expensive products out there for acne and, and when you're young and then even sometimes when you get older you're getting those pimples you want to get rid of them, but yeah. not spend a fortune. It, absolutely, and it's interesting because the infomercial companies really get you. <laughs> you know, they they have they have these great marketing things, and, and they the have superstars, the P. And Diddy, Williams, and Jessica and, yeah. Simpson, and everybody's <laughs> on there. And uh, and basically, they're marketing products that are forty dollars, and they keep sending it to you month after month unless you stop it. And this is one of them. The active ingredient in this is benzoyl peroxide. 2.5%. Now, I picked this up at my neighborhood CVS. This was $3, and it's benzoyl peroxide 3.7%. It's actually a higher concentration of the same active ingredient for well, one-tenth the price. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. So, All right. Wrinkles. Let's talk wrinkles. Wrinkles. The, the best thing for wrinkles, we think, still is either a glycolic acid okay. or a retinol or retinoid-derived product, okay. okay? So there's all kinds of retinols that, out there. They're very expensive ones. They're cheaper ones. I brought one that's available in doctor's offices, and it's a good product. But the thing is, is all of those that are out there all have the same concentration 
formation of retinol as Rock which is a drugstore brand, and this product sells for about $9 for that big Just tube. Just $9? Mm -hmm. For that big tube. Wow. And, uh, and it's very, it's as effective as any of the other retinol products you can either get from the doctor's office or, uh, you know, from Lancome or all those expensive department store brands. Now, I've been seeing lately a lot of vitamins for the skin. Right, yes. Does that really help the skin? I think that, first of all, the, the best vitamin for the skin is the powerful antioxidant vitamin C. And you can get that from a GNC supplement very easily. I bought this for $20 on sale. It's a thousand capsules. It's lasted me more than a year. <laughs> and frankly, all the other, I brought a fancy packaged skin vitamin that's available in Europe. And if you look at the ingredients on that one, all it is is vitamin C. Really? Yeah, and so it's really a lot of marketing that they put it together and say, this is for the skin and people buy it. And they're buying a lot of the packaging and the putting together of the, of the uh, analysis and saying it's for the skin when actually you could just be bu buying vitamin C. Vitamin C, interestingly, is also the only vitamin that you cannot take too much of. Oh, really? Uh-huh. All the others you can actually overdose on, and there can be side effects from them. But vitamin C is one that you can never, you can, once your stores are saturated, you, you excrete it, and it's very safe. So it's, it's the one I advocate the most. Okay. Now, you've got two more little products Last here. Last thing I just wanted to say as an aside is that don't ever believe a product that has an ingredient with a name that does not exist in the dictionary. If it is a fake word, like Boswell Ox or Decontraxol or any of those words that are not really words, it really doesn't, isn't an ingredient, okay. okay? It's not an active, and those moisturizers are the same as Cetaphil or any other moisturizer well, you can thank buy. Thank you so much. I mean, boy, thank we're you. gonna save just a bundle of money just <laughs> on this one segment. Well, we all realize there are skin conditions that go beyond creams and moisturizers, and if you'd like help with those, you can call the Miami Skin Institute. The offices are on Brickell Avenue in Miami, or call 305-373-SKIN. Now over to Kelly.